What actually is the point in this? Mate, I've just rinsed 1,500 um, rival points over the weekend and like the whole of last week. Assuming that as soon as I got them points, I would have six, well, seven entries into the uh, Fit Champions playoffs pr preview. Mate, I don't know. They've changed it up though this year. Um, I go into the bloody playoff games um, not knowing exactly how it works. Partially my fault. You get nine matches um, and to get the actual Fit Champions uh, qualification, you need 24 points, which is um, six wins out of nine i bottled it um i got like this rank i got 16 points and had one game left so i just end the playoffs not sure if that affects it or you know affects the way i qualify next time or whatever i'm not too sure but what i don't get is i've been de-ranked down to zero qualification rival points and that took me roughly like six hours to get i cannot get my head around how competitive this game is like what is the point like, i've now got to go and play another like at least six hours worth of division rivals and that's if i get wins as well by the way mate it's gonna be like eight hours to actually be in the like tournament the game is intended for i mean that's the whole purpose of ultimate team go to a good team go into the main game mode called fit champions i do not understand it one bit like why have they made it so competitive this year i mean i think that's the second time i've said it like why is it so competitive like what actually is the point mate like the skill gap is massively here this year i've only just clocked onto that i've had to get six wins out of nine games um, uh, bear in mind, half the teams I played with God Squad were like daddy's credit card, just flinging a few quid at their team. The teams were a joke, by the way. Like, honestly, the bullshit was unreal. Gameplay's a little bit better, but again, they'll patch that in a few weeks when the game actually starts to like properly go into like esports and stuff. They're gonna like patch it and like eliminate it down into like one. The very like defining meta, which is going to be very boring, and it's going to be the same as 20 and 21. I just really can't get my head around how I've now got to play another eight hours. Well, six hours at least of rivals to get to another 1,500 points. And even then, I'm not even guaranteed to get into the tournament. Like, I know you get packs and stuff. Um, You know, you can have your say on whether they're good or not. But at the end of the day, like, we want to play in the tournament the game mode, like, aims us to play in. At the end of the day, like, they lead us down different routes to play this bloody tournament. And it's so competitive. Like, oh, mate, I, I, I EA just suck your mother's like, what are you doing like fully like the neutral player um whether you're good at trading or gameplay or whatever the neutral player this year has been just fisted like bent over and fisted mate like mate it's worse than last year like i you know i'm just i'm kind of sorry to be fair that i've now got to play another six hours worth of qualification points like what is the point i don't even care about the rewards for a minute like just playing this game mode it's like it's annoying because it is second best. It's like being in... It's, this is like being in the bloody Europa Conference League. I'm not even exaggerating that, mate. Like, this is literally like being in the second... No, yeah, like the second best thing on the game. And if you fail to play a set of nine games which are very intense and against absolute, like, credit card... Like, their teams are, like, stacked and people are good. At the end of the day, it's nine intense FIFA games in the playoffs and I don't know it's a bit too competitive for a normal player I feel anyway if it was a separate tournament then you know that's fair enough but like if there was another tournament for like the big boy pro players who are in, like esports and stuff I would understand but this is just for like every foot chance player in the game I do not understand way too competitive in my opinion I just wanted to have that little rant to be fair that's not gonna lie so I'll probably post it I probably will post this as well uh, I just felt like ranting a little bit like, I just don't understand for the last time why is it so like intense and competitive this year I will never know but as for my team boys you haven't actually seen me play on this account yet um I had Sancho K Kane, mate, Kane is just awful. I do like, I don't understand why players like Harry Kane, that matter just like fobs them off, mate, and they are just so lazy. Like honestly, he was just, he was so bad for me. Like unreal. Like Daco's streets clear just because he's got over like 85 pace. That alone makes him better than Kane. I had Sancho at uh, his end product was awful, and I feel like he has been very fisted with his card. Um, and Babu, uh, he was good. This Leclerc's, by the way. This card is potentially the biggest fraud in FIFA. I have never used a worse card. He feels 88 paces alive, by the way. He feels like he's got about 60. I would rather use Kurt Zuma at the back. He is awful. Stay away. Castile's in goal was okay. Every, again, every keeper is just disgustingly broke. Uh, Firmino's okay. Vern is good. And uh, lads, I'm going to have to play like six hours minimum of division rivals who get 
for champion finals hopefully that's if i qualify again the annoying thing is about this whole thing that the pr it makes it more pressure to play the playoffs call me sorry okay i'm ready my head's gone um but lads thank you very much for watching um i don't know what to upload can't like, like i'm just gonna be down to earth. i do, do not know what to upload help me out please because i do like making these videos and um boys take care and you know what? I might actually stack some two-eyed gold player packs. I might stack around 50 to 100. I might just send it. Um, let me know if you'd like to see that. I'll get it done in the week some point. Probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, it's that, boys. Say, uh, stay safe. And, um, yes, catch you in the next video, boys. Peace.